From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and, while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. A new rule would ban most Americans from traveling to North Korea. Well, there goes this year's big vacation. McMenamins, a Northwest brewery, restaurant, hotel chain, is holding a halfway to St. Patrick's Day celebration on September 16th. Um, why? What, because you need another excuse to get drunk? You're a brewery! Don't you already have that covered? A Norwegian news site makes readers answer questions to prove they understand the story before posting comments. Norwegian broadcaster NRK's website will present people who want to leave comments with a quiz that asks them about what the story is actually about. The creators of the quiz hope that asking people the questions will make sure that everybody in the comments actually understands the story. Well, forget the Norway news site. We need this for Facebook and Twitter. Scientists say they have found the brain's on switch for burning fat. I'm assuming mine has the safety on. Soda consumption has dropped to a 31-year low. And I've got good money on it that Coke Zero Sugar ain't gonna fix that. Age 72 is the new 30. Nope, not kidding. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research in Germany examined how the probability of dying at specific ages has changed over time. Our ancestors had the same odds of dying at the age of 30 as men today face at the age of 72. So following, all right, following this logic then, at my age of 48, I'm actually only six years old. So why do I have all these adult responsibilities if I'm only old enough to be in the first grade, huh? Uh, this is child abuse, dagnabbit! The survey says the number of TVs per household in the United States has dropped from 2.6 to 2.3. Really? How do you watch a third of a television? Krispy Kreme is going to start serving Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Donuts because their other donuts apparently weren't unhealthy enough. When a little girl was scared of finding monsters in her new home, she knew just who to call – the local police. Four-year-old Sydney Farenbrook had just moved into a house in Longmont, Colorado two weeks ago when she started hearing spooky noises from around the building. While as a means of ensuring that her house was safe, she then called Officer David Bonday and asked if he would come over and help make sure that there weren't any monsters hiding under the furniture. Finally, they remembered that they were in Colorado and that the monsters were probably just potheads outside the house looking for a place to crash for a while. Michael Strahan missed a show last week because he lost a part of his pinky in an accident. So sipping tea will never be the same. Poor guy. A German man caught speeding was also driving with a cockatoo on his shoulder. The man said his pet bird was bored at home and he wanted to take her for a ride. Uh, did, did you not think first maybe to just to buy the bird a mirror? President Trump is gearing up for a 17-day vacation at his golf resort in New Jersey. 17 days in Jersey? Why? What, did he lose a bet? World Market released their pumpkin spice coffee last week. Seriously? Already? What, is summer too long for you people? Apple announced its third quarter earnings last week, and the numbers were positive, to say the least. The company's quarterly revenue was $45.4 billion. It was noted that Apple could easily buy Walmart with that kind of profit. But it's Apple, meaning you'd never be in danger ever again of being hit with falling prices. The University of Washington study says that Asian Americans are viewed as being more American if they're overweight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I have to tell you, uh, that has nothing to do with being Asian and everything to do with being overweight. Like the rest of America. A man in Australia, Newcastle, has become an instant millionaire after finding a winning lotto ticket while cleaning his car. The man had purchased the ticket at the start of last year but only discovered that he won when he went online and checked the numbers after finding the ticket at the bottom of an old shopping bag in his car. Now, I told my wife this story in the hopes that she would run out and begin cleaning my car. Uh, she didn't fall for that. 
A man in China who was so dissatisfied with his haircut that he made daily deliveries of human feces to the barber shop that gave it to him. The poop slinger was apprehended after the shop's owner called police. In Eureka, Missouri, a mom got so upset about how a neighborhood kid treated her daughter that she took the nine-year-old boy, shaved his head, and wrote the word pervert on his forehead with a felt pen. This for pulling her girl's hair. Can you imagine what she'd do if the kid got gum in her carpet? NASA is currently looking for someone with a secret security clearance to ensure that alien life or organic constituent and biological contamination doesn't make its way back to Earth in a spaceship. Now, I don't mean to be an armchair quarterback here, but shouldn't they have offered this to Sigourney Weaver before taking other applications? Floyd Mayweather is expecting to make more than $300 million from his fight with Conor McGregor, and that would break down to more than $8 million per minute in the ring. $8 million per minute? Sign me up! Oh, yeah, sure, I'd, I'd only last like three seconds, but still, that's almost $400,000 which would be more than enough to pay off all my debt, get me a new house and a car. I, yeah, sure, I'd be in a coma the rest of my life, but I'd be living the dream. Police in Louisiana have arrested a man after finding two pounds of marijuana hidden in Honey Nut Cheerios and Cap'n Crunch cereal boxes in his car. He obviously thought that he was in Colorado, where marijuana is part of a complete breakfast. Some people say they get a real rush or even high from a good workout. The power plant gym in San Francisco is taking that concept to an entirely new level. It's the brainchild of Jim McAlpine who says his new gym will not only allow smoking pot during a workout, it will encourage it. The 46-year-old, along with former NFL star and marijuana advocate Ricky Williams, hopes the new gym shatters common pot stigmas, but also insists the facility will in no way be a stoner hangout, describing it instead as a premier gym. McAlpine then explained the advantages, saying if you use it right, cannabis takes the things you love and lets you love them more. With fitness, that can help you get into the zone, into eye of the tiger mode. People will be able to buy and smoke weed at the gym, while McAlpine himself is working a range of edibles, designed specifically for pre- and post-workout. And while marijuana has been proven to reduce a person's reaction time, Scientists also suggest it can raise a person's threshold for pain and be used to reduce inflammation. And if you do get hurt during your workout, you'll be too high and happy to care or think about suing. Elon Musk tested his mass transit system called the Hyperloop and was able to accelerate to 193 miles per hour in only five seconds. Unfortunately, stopping took two and a half hours. According to The Hollywood Reporter, President Trump was considered for the role of the president in the 2015 TV movie Sharknado 3. The producers decided against it, though, because they thought that a Trump presidency in a movie about a tornado made up of sharks would be too unbelievable. Lego has been forced to recall 120,000 new Lego sets after a worker labeled pieces with the wrong shade of gray. The sets, including the extremely popular Star Wars, were supposed to contain dark gray Lego bricks. Sadly, human error means light gray pieces were included instead from the plant in Denmark. It's a bigger deal than you think and will likely cost Lego around $1.5 million. But props to the famous toy maker, rather than disciplining the employee for the error, Lego invested $60,000 on improving lighting and labeling at the factory. The 2015 mishap was revealed in LEGO's in-house staff magazine last week. And don't feel too bad, despite the unplanned expenditure, LEGO still enjoyed a record-high revenue of over $4 billion last year. Chris Christie says that the fan he berated at a Cubs-Brewers game in Milwaukee last Sunday is lucky I didn't dump the nachos I was holding on him or anything, which was an option. Christie adds that the incident will not deter him from attending baseball games in the future which New Jersey is perfectly fine with, as it keeps him away from the office, potentially doing more damage. A Florida man is claiming his dog shot his girlfriend while she was sleeping. The incident happened at the home of Brian Murphy and his girlfriend, Summer Miracle, one recent evening. Following a walk with Murphy, Diesel the dog ran into the bedroom where Miracle was sleeping. Murphy says he saw a flash and heard a loud bang. He thinks Diesel jumped on the nightstand where his gun was sitting and it went off. Miracle was shot in the leg but is expected to recover. 
In response, Florida legislators are working to pass a bill requiring a five-day waiting period on getting a hunting dog. According to Golf.com, the reason President Trump golfs so much is because he thinks the White House is a dump. Which makes me wonder if the Donald has solid gold porta potties on the golf course. That would be impressive. Want to own the Charlotte's Web Farm? A piece of Americana is up for sale in Maine. The farm, on which E.B. White lived and used as a setting for Charlotte's Web, is on the market, and it can be yours for the low, low price of $3.7 million. Owners Mary and Robert Gallant say they are reluctantly selling the 44-acre farm in Brooklyn where they've lived for three decades. White bought the place with his wife Catherine in 1933 and lived there until his death in 1985. Aside from modest updates to the kitchen and flooring, the Gallants have mostly kept the place as it was when E.B. White lived there. If you do decide to move in, you should be prepared for regular visitors from fans of White. In fact, Mary Gallant says the author would turn over in his grave if he knew how many people stop here. She then adds, but to me, that's absolutely wonderful that he is so alive to the world. New White House Chief of Staff John Kelly has reportedly called Attorney General Jeff Sessions to assure him that his job is safe. So in other words, you better get that resume updated, Jeff! This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the children's audiobook The Adventures of Mr. Teapot by Tatiana Matina, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!